Hey everybody, that one Andrew here, and we're gonna, we're gonna do a room tour today. Um, sorry, I'm a little nervous. This is my first video in so long. Um, really what it's gonna be is we're just gonna go around and we're gonna look at everything in the room. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about it. I uh, got the game room finally set up in a new place. It's pretty nice, we're a little settled in now. And this is gonna kickstart some good things, hopefully, fingers crossed. So anyways, here we go. Thanks for watching, see you later, bye. All right, so we're gonna start with the front door. Uh, you walk into the game room and um, you're greeted with this Ghost of Tsushima banner. And then over here, we have a lot of the K-On figures. Um, at the top, we do have a little array from Star Wars, a shrine type thing, I guess you could say. Um, this is a figure that I got from Japan. Uh, really customizable, you can change your clothes, weapons and stuff, BB-8. Um, and then back there, we have the three black series of Rey. And then we have k -On figures. Um, got a lot of Yui, of course, Azusan. Um, down here, we have them all in their beach uniforms. We have Mio and Yui in their school uniforms. Down here, my lovely girlfriend made this for me for my birthday. He says, quote, fun things are fun. A lovely Yui quote. She actually painted this herself and baked it. Really cool. Um, then we have the fifth anniversary k -On figures with a Yui doll in the back. Down here, we have some more sets, the OG squad, and then those little figures that I don't even remember buying those, but I must have, or someone gave them to me or something. And then down here, we have some more UE figures. We have uh, playing guitars, one in like a summer outfit, and Christmas, of course, and then another UE doll. So that's kind of the opening, and then I also did go ahead and put these um, wall scrolls of k -On over here. Um, I have all these GameCube games because when we were unpacking, I'll show you later, uh, we organized all the games that we have and those ones were missed. So they're just kind of sitting here right now in limbo, but they're there. Uh, that is the, um, what's it called, Death Stranding briefcase that came with the collector's edition. So that is there. We're just going to move on over here. So this is the first little gaming setup. It's actually the closet that we ran an extension cord. There's no power outlets in there, so we ran an extension cord through this crack and then the briefcase kind of blocks it but you see that there and back here we have the Wii an Xbox One S PS4 and then a switch dock has a sound bar uh, just 32 inch pretty basic Samsung TV um, in this corner we have some cases so the switch bag would usually be there but it's in the living room right now and we have our VR headset cases the Game Boy SP case. Um, this drawer just has like some Switch stuff, uh, Vita games, 3DS games in here, um, Switch cases, some remotes and odds and ends and stuff. And then down here, this is the first of much Persona stuff. We have the two fighting sticks, the Persona 3 manga, um, some Persona books, just all these. Um, those are Game Informer, the rest of them are actually at my mom's. A little persona pouch thing. And we have storage up here. Uh, a lot of collector's edition boxes that don't need to be displayed, so they're just kind of hiding up there. And then over here we have um, the Tony Hawk collector's edition skateboard. And then a whole bunch of rock band stuff we want to get that out. And lastly for this side we have Ellie's backpack from The Last of Us Part 2 collector's edition. So that is this side of the room. Oh. And we do have this um, Star Wars board I got for Christmas one year. Um, it's Tatooine and it kind of shows, it's really cool, you can't read it right now, but it has like little scenes from all the movies where it'll talk about like them finding the droids, Jabba the Hutt. Um, I know they're like pod racing up there. Uh, if you can really see that Darth Maul, Qui-Gon dueling, just things from all the movies that happened on Tatooine. Um, up to uh, episode six, they didn't have um, like episode nine in there, so. So that's this side. If we take a step back, kind of see it in all of its glory. Not too bad, not too bad. Now next we're going to go over this side, which is the um, real, uh, this is the wild side. This took us seven hours to build these shelves. Um, we didn't move any of these. All right, so yeah, so this is the real um, big one, and we're just going to start... Uh, we're going to start this in a weird way. We're going to start over here, work our way over, and then go back over. Um, I'll tell you why in a bit. 
So we're going to start at this first shelf, and what we tried to do was kind of make these not in release order, but we definitely alphabetized them, and then like console order, if that makes sense. So we have PS1 up here, um, and we already have like some stragglers. Oh, th oh, these go in the Persona shelf. We didn't have the Persona shelf when we made this, so we put these over there. I don't know, just set this there. Anyways, so we have the PlayStation 1 games. I don't have a lot of PlayStation 1 games, but... I have some, um, and then we have some decorations. We have these keychains from Pokemon Let's Go series. We have a Dead or Alive Extreme 3, which if you turn it, it changes pictures. Oh, crazy. We have this little figure from Death Stranding, and then Grand Kingdoms, the uh, collector's edition or whatever. And let's look at the top real quick. We have Sonic from the Sonic Mania, and then we have the helmet from Fallout 76. The only good thing about that game I liked. Moving down a shelf, we, well actually up here, we start PS2, and you just pause if you want to see any of these games. Um, have another Fallout thing, we have the Pip-Boy, and then we have these um, Tales of series. Um, four of these are from Exi are Zesteria, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then these two are from Berseria. But I'm going to go ahead and move this real quick, so you can see. For PS2 games. I have better PS2 games than PS1 games. But still not all the ones I want. Of course I have a list of 600 games that I want. So down here, um, the Persona shelf wasn't actually big enough, so we had to put some Persona things over here. We have these really cool dancing things, glass things. And then behind it, the end of the PS2 section. And I know it's hard to read, but this is where the PS3 games start. Down here... We have IAVT Colorful Crystal Box, a really cool rhythm game that I think was only in Japan. Uh, more PS3 games. This, which is actually new, I got this N7 figure. It's made of metal. It's pretty hefty. Um, I guess I'm excited for uh, the new Mass Effect, although I've always loved Mass Effect. And then we have this PS4 plate Persona, obviously. And we have some more PS3 games. Gently set that back there. That thing is made of like, oh my goodness, it's made of like glass, so it scratches really easily. I've been concerned about it this whole time that I've ever owned it. Um, we have the baby from Death Stranding. Lights up, pretty cool. The rest of the PS3 games, and then we have the Mirror's Edge Catalyst figure, statue. I guess you would want to call it a figure. So that's that shelf, and then if we move on over here. This is solely PS4. This whole shelf is just PlayStation 4. But we'll start at the top. So these are figures from uh, the, uh, oh my gosh, something infinite. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Bad game. It's like Marvel vs. Capcom, maybe? I think that's right. Yeah. We have Iron Man, Captain Marvel, X, and then Chun-Li, I think. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, and then we have... Kratos here with his son killing a demon, some demons. Starting up here though, top shelf, we have Kiruto and Asuna. Some more Dead or Alive Extreme 3. We have these cards from, I think it's Toho Bullet? Actually, I'm not sure what this is from. Maybe it says in the back. Oh, Senran Kagura. Okay. Um, and then we have that Collector Federation, which is from Star Ocean, I think. Um, but there's some of the games a bad game. Don't don't be me. Don't buy that. Down here, we have The Last of Us going on. We have the thank you card from Mr. Druckmann himself. And we have the vinyl. That's Abby and Ellie on it. Show you some more games back here. PS4 is obviously um, you know, I was, I've always been into gaming my whole life, but it was around 2010 when I was like 13, 14 that I was like, oh, I can earn money and get games and PS4 came out and I was like all right let's do this <laughs> we have Deacon over here with the zombies then we have our Persona 3 main protagonist and another PS4 case that I'm scared to move trust me there's not too much back there <laughs> nothing super amazing actually I think uh, gravity rush is back there so if you're like you know, I'll just move it so yeah Gravity Rush Remastered. I guess that's a big one. And then the steelbooks of some of these games. 
And um, Nier Automata I'm actually playing right now, so that's why there's a little spot right there. It's over on my desk, which we'll see in a bit. Scary. <laughs> Moving down here, we have the one and only Risei Kujikawa. We have the Ghost of Tsushima mask. And then we have Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. Some more games back here. Every Resident Evil game. I'm a bit of a fan. Resident Evil, too many. And then down here we have, going with back to that um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, we have the lovely eggs, which my friend told me that these are actually comic book accurate, sort of. I don't know. They look like Easter eggs, so I kind of like the Easter eggs. Um, then over here. Shenmue 1, 2, and 3, I know that's a big one. Sig's Our Celebration, that's a big one. All those Star Wars games. We have Criminal Girls 2 for PlayStation Vita, the box over here. I just kind of picked random collector's editions I've had for a while, and I was like, I'm going to dis... Because they've always been in the closet, and I was like, I, I want to do something with this stuff. Everything... That's so common. Um, everything's always just sat in a box. I was like, I want to display all this stuff, so I did. Moving on to the next shelf, up here we have Yu Narukami, we have Joker, we have um, Katsumi, and then we have Ellie from The Last of Us Part 2 playing her guitar. I really love this figure. It's such a big statue compared to everyone else. Down here we have some Last of Us pins, there's the Toho Gensen Rondo bullet ballot, and then there's the box for that, actually. No Man's Sky limited edition, collector's edition, whatever you want to call it. Um, some more games, mostly Yakuza, stuff like that. And then my <laughs> three PS5 games, <laughs> Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, and Sackboy. I know, no Spider-Man, no Demon Souls, I'm a bad lad. Um, then GameCube games. When we were actually putting the GameCube games up, this is all there is up here. And I was like, I feel like there's more. And sure enough, there is more. They're just over there. They're in a different box. Um, but you can tell from my PS5 collection, I've decided to take a step back after PS4. I'm like, you know, I haven't played most of those games. Definitely haven't beaten them, so it's cool. Um, this is Odin Sphere, the remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it, on PS4. Tin, tin, tin box. Oh, Turox over here. Shoot. Um, so we're moving into Nintendo. Um, and we got some Wii games. Got some more Tales things. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Then we got Wii U games. Back here, some more. Playing the Wii U all the time. And then down here we have our little Zelda shelf. We have Zelda and Link. And then we have the Master Sword in the middle. Some more Tails. And then we have Corpse Party figures over here. And we have all these Switch games, which are all empty because the Switch games stay in a pouch. And then we have the rest of the Wii U games. I guess I'll just let you attempt to read it. I was going hard on Switch for a while, um, and then I stopped caring because <laughs> I realized, I, I don't know, I like the Switch sometimes, but I don't other times. All right, I keep running out of memory on the phone. Down here... We have Xbox now, so that's my, that's the extent of my Nintendo, the GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch. Um, I do have like 10 NES games, I think, honestly, maybe one SNES game, it might just be Mario, honestly. Um, and then I do have actually quite a few N64 games, but those aren't in the game room. Those are still packed up in a box somewhere, but they're not going to be in here. Those will be in the living room. Um, anyways, moving down here, so we have Tokyo Xanadu Limited Edition, another PS Vita game. Be the Soul Calibur 6 lady that I don't know her name. I'm sure people hate me for that, but whatever. The Call of Duty Elite Boundary card, because I'm a fucking nerd. Some Japanese Vita game. And then my kind of sad Xbox collection. Original Xbox. Big bumpin' though. I got some, you know, Dead or Alive, Extreme, Dead or Alive Ultimate, um, you know, one and two, two copies of Mech Assault. Knights of the Old Republic, Time Splitters 2. Um, not too much, though. Let me put these back up there. And then 360 games, which is... The 360 was the first console I got big into. 
um, you know, a lot of Call of Duties, Assassin's Creed, uh, Battlefield 3, Bioshock. Um, all these are just childhood games. Move down here. Uh, I'm a terrible person. I put the PlayStation Cup in front of the Xbox games. <laughs> um, but looking at some of these, there's, there's so much nostalgia here. Like Fallout, um, New Vegas, Fallout 3, Far Cry 2. I played a lot of Grand Theft Auto 4, Gun. Um, Halo Reach, really love that game. Um, you know, Mass Effect trilogy, of course. Medal of Honor, Airborne, really love that game. Um, Saints Row 3, Skyrim. You've heard me gush about Xbox in my top 10 video. And then there's uh, Ultra Dis Despair Girls um, collector box with not Monokuma. And let's move on to the last shelf. So up here we have um, Makoto from Persona 5. We have Lisa from Persona 2, Innocent Sin, technically. We have Nathan Drake way back there. And then we have Jill Valentine and Leon Kennedy. And I don't, I think I'm going to put Chris Redfield right back there when I get him. But moving on to the games, we have Sinran Kagura Estival Versus for PS Vita. Last of the Xbox 360 games. Tom Clancy, of course, great. Xbox One games, don't have too many, just those. Game Pass. I, very quickly, I was like, why am I buying games? Um... Legend of Legacy for the 3DS in front of the 3DS games. Go ahead and look at those. I actually do kind of like the 3DS. Um, the DS games, I don't want to move that stuff. The Sonic Mania stuff in an Ocarina of Time Ocarina. But I have Pokemon Platinum, Black 2, um, 999, something else. I don't know what that is. I think it's... I have no idea. Um, but I do actually have a few more DS games. There's just no cases for them. Um, down here, there's a PS4 controller I got for $20, and it, it doesn't work. It's like the button stick. It feels weird. It's definitely off-brand. Um, Fire Emblem Fates Special Edition. Some more 3DS games. A little care from Tokyo Xanadu. Some Days Gone pins. PSP collection, which is severely lacking. Hope to remedy that soon. I have a lot of digital PSP games to be fair. Uh, Corpse Party Blood Drive and then the Vita games. Um, these are all empty cases because keep the video Vita games in the pouch. But we have them out here nonetheless. I don't know what this is, but I have it. It's a big boop game, I guess. So many good hits on Vita. So many. Uh, we have these um, Yakuza 6 Dragon Glasses. Love them. They're IAVT colorful. Some more Vita games. Those pins are from Ding and Rampa. There's all the Neptune games. Let's see if I can set that there. And that flash drive is from uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. X, I believe. Um, has the soundtrack on it. Then this is Rise of the Tomb Raider Lara Croft. Move her real quick. Show you J Star's Victory versus Plus Kill Zone Lost Dimension. Games like that. Moving down one more. This is called like Trillion God of Destruction, I think it's called. Some more Vita games. Of course. We have this really cool um, PlayStation light. When you click it, lights up like that. You can click it to slowly alternate. Sometimes at night I'll be on my computer and I'll just have this playing in the background and it's kind of nice, just some ambient light. Or it does this, which is just obnoxious. Um, and you can see the hole that I made right there. I had to cut back to get to the power outlet. Um, but there's some more Vita games. The Tellier games, they suck. Um, then the last of the Vita games. Let's put that back like that. And then here at the bottom we have the Nomad from Mass Effect Andromeda, my signed Peanut Butter Gamer 3DS, um, Vita boxes, basically, um, collector's editions. There's a Detroit Become Human, um, Japan collector's edition, Senran Kagura, that's Smash Ultimate, Corpse Party for 3DS, and then my sad little Dreamcast collection, <laughs> my um, Shenmue, uh, Skies of Arcadia, 
Mortal Kombat, Gold, Crazy Taxi, and Choo Choo Rocket. Which, to be fair, those are all freaking bangers. And the last shelf over here. This is the Persona shelf. Um, all the Persona stuff didn't actually fit on this. And I'll kind of show you what's up with this. This is kind of a mess. Uh, we'll go through this quickly because I've already done such a breakdown on my Persona things. And I'll continue to. But we have up here... Um, the cat, the dog, the bear, uh, Persona 5, Persona 5 Royale behind it, that's a sheep from Catherine, and then just so many, just so many. And actually, so this used to be on two shelves, because of space we had to minimize it to one, so behind all this stuff you'll see there's collector's edition boxes back there, and then actually the back of this fell out, broke, so I have a big Persona banner behind it. Yeah. Statues, pins, 3DS, pocket watches, soundtracks, um, video live plays, animations, bags, controllers. Just so much going on. Down here, hats, controllers, pins, uh, more movies, animations, figures, so many figures. A Vita. A Vita. <laughs> Joker Mevo. Um animation again and you can see all these are double stacked um, books uh, this cute little keychains I love those and then down here it's just a lot of books um, shirts are down there stuff and then we have this PS4 here um, we have four PlayStation 4s and that one is going to be our travel one we're gonna get one of those game cases and have that but we don't have it yet so it's just kind of chilling right now. No, it's a nice decoration. So that's this wall. It's going to be a 50-minute video. Dang, sorry, guys. I appreciate it if you're watching this far. I think it's all interesting. But that's that crazy wall. And now we'll move on to this wall over here. It's a lot more tame. Um, it shouldn't take as long. So starting off over here on the wall, we have God of War map. Came with the collector's edition. Super cool. Great game. Persona 4 calendar on the best girl. And then we have the um, bookshelves. Uh, these aren't all of our books. We do read. We have books. But these are all kind of like the video game slash manga type books. Um, before we get to that, though, up top here, I, I went ahead and sold a lot of my Amiibo last year because they're just kind of clutter and I didn't really like a lot of them. But I did keep the ones I do like. Um, so I have a lot of, uh, Fire Emblem ones, um, I have a lot, of, all the Zelda ones, of course, you know, Waluigi, um, I kept Cloud, Donkey Kong, I actually missed, I meant to sell them, but then I was like, I can't sell them now, uh, Pichu, Bayonetta, um, I know Toad's here somewhere, Isabelle, the Pikmin, of course, I sold Olimar, I kind of wish I didn't <laughs> in hindsight, but I did, um, there's, the uh, Toad. But then I got this Captain Levi figure, or statue. Um, some more K-On, you know, Captain America, just random little figures. Then we have one more K-On set over here, the whole band. There wasn't room over there, so I had to put them over here. And then we just got a lot of mangas. Um, there's Mikasa, she looks cool. Susan designed that herself, did it herself. Uh, Persona Crystals, these, of course, light up. Like that, they all light up. Um, we have one, two, uh, three, four, and then we have Persona Q2 cups. We have another Yui figure. We have Jin Urso and Boba Fett. And then we have a little Fallout guy down there. But I'll just slowly pan on all these mangas. I'll show you guys, we alphabetized them the best that we could. Some, because of their size, we had to move. But, you know, I like mangas. Um, I actually like a lot of them digitally now, just because they take up so much room. But I am a person of uh, few tastes. As you can see, I only have a few series here. All the Star Wars books, of course. Sword Art Online. And Zelda. And then some Zelda puzzles. And then these over here are actually cool. So I have all those collector's editions, and so many came with, like, art books, mini art books and stuff. So I got them all out, and I would say out of all these... 80% of them are from collector's editions. Now, the Zelda ones aren't. The Mass Effect one isn't. The 
uh, Final Fantasy one isn't. Um, the Ghost of Tsushima one isn't, but then the rest, I believe, are. And then we have Ask of Water down here, which isn't a gaming art book, but it didn't fit up there because it's a, just a little too tall. So we had to put it over here. Moving over to the mini fridge. Um, we have the Call of Duty Modern Repair goggles and little Goru. He's just watching over us always. And then I want to do this wall real quick. We have a little Zelda wall. We have the Master Sword hanging up and some Zelda amiibos. And then this Breath of the Wild poster thing. We have um, Twilight Princess, the best Zelda game. Um, then our poster. This lamp that when it turns on, those are smart bulbs so they change colors and stuff. Um, we have this Persona self-made the Arcana cards. Uh, five is crooked, but I'm not opening that sucker back up. And then we have the desk. Um, this desk is insane. It took me a while. Uh, we built the desk ourselves, me and my friends. Um, but everything kind of has a charging station, has a little ALEXA. Um, Vita's 3DS. Have the PS4 hooked up to the mini TV in the corner. There's a spot for the iPad up here. And, you know, charging stuff you have the computer over here bob ross always hanging out microphone podcast of course or just talking discord um drawing pad headphones little mini soundbar you know it's just the works it's a nice little thing uh has a little hanger for your headphones and a cup holder so that's nifty and then the pc just sits under there and on top i have xbox one controller and then um uh, Oculus Link, like like the cord that plugs in your Oculus to play PC games on there, and uh, um, CD player. So that's the desk area, and then if we move on over here, coming to the end of the room tour, such a little room but so much packed in, we have these lovely mouse pads on display that my girlfriend loves, absolutely loves that I have those. We have some uh, Persona poster, a Zelda poster. And then, um, baby metal poster. Hell yeah. Some persona puzzles that I made. Me and my girlfriend made, actually. Did them, glued them, framed them. And another Ghost of Tsushima banner. And then we have the VR station. Those headsets are constantly charging. Rock on. And then we have the PSVR at top. Doesn't need charged. Um, and these are controller drawers. It's... Exactly what you what it sounds like. You open it up, whatever controller you need. We got them in there. Um, and then at the bottom, just look through the case. Uh, there's like some bags and stuff for Vita's 3DS and stuff like that. Um, we have two TVs on this TV stand. Uh, one is obviously a old CRT, and then the other one is another 32 inch. Um, storage running low, so I'll hurry up real quick. Behind there, PS4 Pro. This one is set up for VR, the junction box, the camera's over there. Um, we have our Wi-Fi right there as well. Um, see all those switchers. So over here, we have the 360 plugged in. We have some trash. A PS1 that's not plugged in. Um, there's a portable DVD player over there. Coming over here, we have the Wii U hooked up. PS3 and the Switch. And then over here, we have the NES, GameCube, Dreamcast, um, SNES, and then we have just the Genesis, um, chillin'. Alright, well, now that I'm, like, basically all out of memory, I've deleted, like, 20 apps making this video, um, I hope you enjoyed this room tour, whatever you want to call it, uh, just thought it'd be fun. We took a lot of time, uh, like I said, it was eight hours alone building the shelves, um, we were goofing off a little bit, watching TV and stuff, but still. And then it took us so long. Actually, well, no, those eight hours were building and then alphabetizing and then the decorating and then moving more stuff in and then hooking up the whole entertainment center and then the second entertainment center and then the desk. Um, probably like a 20 hour experience or something. It was crazy, but, uh, tell me what you think. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I think I'm going to go play Persona 4 Golden and we'll upload that soon. I'm feeling in the mood. Uh, that's all. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.